Hello guys, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. So we're continuing with our basic introduction to Blender 2.8 series, and uh, this is part two. Uh, so um, mostly we are focusing on uh, using modifiers. We are not just looking at the entire interface at once. We are looking at one particular part of the application, and uh, yeah. So for now, we are still looking at uh, modifiers. Uh, in the last video, we looked at uh, the bevel modifier and now let's look at uh, the boolean modifier uh, so the boolean modifier is used to merge or subtract from from an object so let's say we have a cube like this so let's select let's move it to the top like that and maybe let's add another object shift a and let's say a uv sphere and just so that we differentiate this properly even more or uh, we can come to the shading and turn on random colors so that we can get uh, those random colors we can uh, we don't need the light there we don't need the camera so i'll just delete those <coughs> and uh, so the way booleans work uh, if you have a, an object like this and maybe you want to, uh, to have a cut of this shape around here uh, you can use the boolean modifier to make that cut so you select the object go to the modifiers tab then add uh, the boolean modifier then select the object you want to use as the cut after you select that you will see that uh, the object you had here uh, disappears that's because uh, the, the boolean operation you have is intersect and uh, it only works uh, when these objects intersect you see we have that but uh, you see, we, we are seeing a weird shape there uh, because we are, we are seeing the object and uh, the intersect. Uh, that's why you see that uh, they're kind of overlaying on top of each other. So if you go to object properties for this object by clicking this icon here and turn on the, and go to the viewport display and change from textured uh, to wireframe to wire, you can see that uh, what remains of the cube is uh, the intersection between the cube and the and the sphere. So you can see. If you want, you can also turn this to from wire or uh, to bounds, so that we only see the out the outline of that sphere. You see, what we are left with is just the intersection between the the cube and the uh, and the sphere so but if we move it out of the cube and there is no intersection we won't see anything uh, so we can select the cube go back to properties to the boolean modifier change from intersect to union uh, this will merge as uh, the object we are adding to the object we are we have the boolean modifier on so we also have the difference this will just give us a cut of the shape we have uh, so achieving this without a boolean modifier can be really hard and uh, if even if you achieve it it won't be as perfect and uh, it will take a uh, it will take you a lot of time and uh, the, the good thing about booleans is that uh, if we go back to this Maybe let's just make the edits directly here. So uh, keep on forgetting. So maybe let's select. Maybe this would work. Hmm. I guess they removed this feature where you can just split the view. Let's see. Because in Blender 2.7, uh, 2.5, 2.7, nine, you could just drag this and split the view. Okay, I think you can still do it. Okay, so, but I want it to be horizontal. Split this horizontally. Yeah, finally. 
Okay, so God. Uh, join this. Here's a game. I'm forgetting what I was about to do. So, uh, the good thing about booleans is that uh, you can make uh, you can make edits. You can make edits uh, to the object and still the boolean will update. You can see. Uh, the what you have done there. Let's turn on YF. Or let's just do shaded texture again. You see what we have ma made there. So you can o you can also come in here and uh, maybe select that portion, extrude it, and uh, if we hide this. You can see we have cut out uh, that piece. So if you try to model this without booleans, it will take you a few minutes to achieve uh, this kind of thing. Uh, but uh, if you are using booleans, it can be quite simple. And uh, if we change this to intersect, intersect, and hide this, you see we what we have. So you might be wondering where, you, where this can be use useful. Uh, so let's create a new project. Uh, let's say what you want. Uh, this is usually mo used uh, when you're trying to create hard surface objects. Uh, let's say you want to add a few cuts on this, so let's Grab this, maybe scale. Booleans are very useful, mostly when you are creating hard surfaces, maybe like a science, a sci-fi scene, and I want to make science fiction uh, uh, objects. So let's change this to random again. Uh, maybe give this first give it a bevel let's reduce the width a bit uh, we can go to the shading and turn on cavity so that we can see those edges popping out uh, we can also maybe add a bevel to this make sure you apply the rotation and scale so that the bevel is calculated properly so you see what we have uh, let's see, can we turn on a bit occlusion? Okay, so the setting was removed here. I think it's added, was added in the shape. It's in the shading. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have shadow. And we have... Let's just do this. So if we select this and give it a, a Boolean modifier, I select this as the mod as the object, change from intersect to difference. Now we can change this display to viewport display to bounds and you see what we have. And we can pull it up like this maybe even come in so let's see this edge control b to bevel it around there and uh you can we can 
Now we can put this boolean above as a bevel. So let's increase the width a bit. Okay. And uh, we can give this an array modifier in the y direction. So And you can see you can do something like that quite easily. Now, if you try to model this, it will really take you quite some time. And uh, if you want, you can also come in and add something else. Let's say we add, you can also come and add a cube again. Let's rotate this. Rotate this negative 45 degrees and scale it in the y direction like that. Uh, go to viewport, change this to bounds, go to this, and then we can come in again and add another Boolean modifier, Boolean, and copy this object. to be our, make sure it's also above the bevel. You see, you can layer these booleans over on top of each other as much as you want, and even make edits to the objects you have. So you see, We can change this to local and move that in that di in that direction. that yeah so that's how booleans work and uh, let's try changing this to um, intersect and see so that would be union and uh, this would be intersect yeah so that's how booleans work as Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.